There's a shop here in Harajuku called Richards, uh, which has a sign in it, which is kind of horribly racist, uh, which says they don't want people to photograph. I'll show you the sign in a moment. And I brought a new sign to give them to see if they'll use the new one instead. We'll see what they say. And uh, here's the new sign. So I tried to give him the new sign and he said no and ignored me and wouldn't talk to me at all. In fact, he didn't even speak to me in Japanese. He pretended he didn't know what it was and he kept saying delete, delete. Um, but the good thing is he didn't threaten me with violence. I heard he pulled a baseball bat on a woman back in December um, and I was seeing if he would do that with me. But uh, he didn't pull any baseball bat and uh, well, he was a little rude but not as rude as I expected and uh, he blew me off but uh, what can you do? So, you know, this is the shop and don't ever go here. One thing this video is an interesting example of is the difference between racism and xenophobia. He has a sign that says, fucking foreigner, and follow the rules, fucking foreigner. But his sign is written in uh, bad English, so the only people who can read it are people who speak English, which is going to be a lot of Western foreigners. So uh, if you're guessing on skin colors, you might guess it's going to be white and black people, perhaps. And the biggest foreign population in Japan is Chinese, followed by Korean, and then a few other countries in Asia, and those people are far less likely to speak English. So he has a sign that's xenophobic. The sign says, fucking foreigner. But since it's written in English, it's actually targeted at people who are predominantly white and black, probably, so it's racist. Not that the guy himself thought that far ahead, he probably never really paid too much attention. But you really see that transition a lot, where someone will do something that starts off racist, but when you analyze it, it becomes xenophobic. Um, or in this case, it's the other way around, where it starts off looking like it's xenophobic, but it ends up being racist. Uh, I brought a new sign for him because, well, you know, obviously he's upset about something and what he's doing is horrible, but I wanted to give him an out, a way to, you know, move away from the horrible position he's put himself in. Um, so I gave him a new sign that says what he wanted it to say in English, which is don't take pictures, please. Um, I know, I don't suppose he's going to use it, uh, but if you're visiting his shop, Richards in Harajuku, it's right next to Marion Crepes in the middle of Takeshita Dori. Then you can take a look and see, take another photo, take a video. Always want to take a video in case he busts out his baseball bat and, uh, you know, let us know. And uh, good luck, I suppose, right?